What's up HX Stompers, this is Steve Stravachi, and today we are looking at a really cool accessory for your HX Stomp, one that I think is probably the best for a pedal board user and one that I would definitely put on a mini board build and something that really increases the flexibility of your HX Stomp and actually kind of negates the need for if you're looking at the new Stomp XL, for example. This kind of eliminates the need for that by doing what it does, which is actually really cool. So what we are talking about today is the Pilot from Little Robbie. And the Pilot is essentially a controller for your snapshots and your tuner and tap tempo on the HX Stump. So basically it gives you the flexibility to use the three foot switches in a different way other than what comes stock the way you use it or how you're normally typically using it. Obviously the HX Stump having only three foot switches is kind of problematic if you're trying to gig with it. It's really hard to get a grasp on a good creative way to make this work for a live scenario. But what this does, it's like idiot proof. It's very easy to use and it takes literally two seconds to set up. So let's take a look at what we have on the pedal. It's literally one, two, and three. Those are your snapshots. So it's gonna replace the snapshots in your HX Stomp and allow you to open up the floor for bypassing effects or parameter changes or anything else you may need. So you have one, two, and three that handles your snapshots. And then you have a T. The T replaces the tap tempo and tuner. So as you see, if I tap, that will control the tempos of your uh, modulation effects, your delays, and anything that is controlled via tap tempo. You also have your tuner. When you press and hold for two seconds, one, two, and you release, you'll see you go into your tuner mode and you can escape your tuner mode by either press and holding for two seconds or you could press any of the other buttons on the HX Stomp itself. So pressing foot switch one takes you back to your regular menu. So to set this up, it's really super easy. First of all, it takes regular nine volt power just like a regular pedal would and you need a MIDI cable and the two slots on the top of the pedal are really, again, foolproof. They're the only two options you have. Obviously the nine volt goes right into the nine volt and then you have the MIDI cable. That is a MIDI send from the pilot. So you're gonna go from the pilot to the MIDI in on your HX stomp. And that's pretty much all the work you actually need to do. And then it comes down to placement on your pedal board. So now let's talk about setting up the HX stomp in your global settings to get it best suited for the pilot. So typically when you have the HX Stomp, you're gonna see the red flashing tap tuner, which you see here on the screen here. That's almost always gonna be your tap tuner or how you're used to using your tap tempo and your tuner. Um, first thing we wanna do is we wanna get rid of that. So we're gonna tap here on your two buttons, your two page buttons. We are going to page over one to our global settings. And now right there in the middle, you have foot switch three function. You see it says tap slash tuner. We are going to slide that to stomp three. What that does now is it makes the third foot switch into a stomp box where you can set it to bypass or control parameters or do anything that you might want it to do. And then one more thing we're gonna do, we're gonna now scroll over with our top encoder here to the MIDI section, you see MIDI tempo, and just make sure that the MIDI bass channel is on channel one. It is when you buy your HX stomp and it should be unless you touched it. So that is all you really need to do in your global settings for the HX Stomp, and you are now ready to roll. So if you look up here in the top right corner, you'll see a one in the camera. That's what snapshot you're currently on. So as you see with the little Robbie, all I gotta do is push the button and I could change snapshots at the press and it's that easy and it's already done. It's already set up. It's just, it just works. So, why this is great for the HX Stomp is that the introduction of the command center allows you to make these three foot switches now whatever you want them to be. So for this preset, for a quick example, I just set these to bypass distortion pedals and some overdrives. This is my princess preset. Um, this is a free one that I put up on Custom Tone. You could check out the video where I built it and um, my thought process here. The three snapshots, the way I see the best way to use the, the pilot here, is to have three snapshots which control the three levels of gain for the same amp. So in one case, particularly with the Princeton that's in this preset, the three snapshots are brown face, black face, and tweed. So three different voices of Princeton 
Basically, I'm just keeping, I'm just changing my amp, essentially, my era of Princeton amp, if you want to call it that. It's like having three different eras of Princetons in the room with you, and each snapshot is selecting which amp I'm using. And then you have your open platform to do whatever you want with the next three foot switches. And you can even take this one step further with, you know, the regular two foot switch guys that you can get anywhere. And you have now up to five foot switches to do whatever you want. And if you are familiar with Command Center, if you're not, please check out my video on the Command Center for the HX Stomp. You can control anything you want now with these. You wanna make sure that you're in pedal board mode first. So we are gonna hit view until we get to this menu. So you should see stomp boxes across the floor. If you don't see that yet, we wanna just page over and you're gonna cycle through your menus. If you have an HX stomp, you should be familiar with this by now. You have presets, you have snapshots, you have pedal board, and then you have presets again. So we wanna make sure that we are on the pedal board mode and this is now your blank canvas. You can go to command center and set up anything you want in the next five switches. You can have solo boosts, uh, multiple parameter changes and really go crazy. So the little Robbie is a perfect companion for the HX stomp. Now let's, uh, let's see it in action a little bit and give a little bit of a playthrough with this preset. So first I'm going to uh, check my tuning here. Press hold, get into your tune. Now I'm just gonna press a button on the HX stomp. Take me back to here. So let's go to snapshot one. This is my brown face error. I did this in order, I think, kind of. So this is my brown face uh, Princeton sound. Worth noting, if you download this, I just dialed out the bass. I turned the bass all the way off to accommodate this guitar. This is um, Firefly 338. Um, really enjoying this. I just got this to do a separate video on, so keep an eye out for that. This is the uh, bridge pickup. And now I'm going to seamlessly transition to my second snapshot. As you know, snapshots are seamless and gapless, so. So now I'm in snapshot two, which is my blackface era Fender. I'm gonna to switch to both pickups because that's what I think suits this sound the best. Let's go to snapshot three, which is the tweed sound. Again, seamless transition into the tweed. So that is the Little Robbie Pilot. This is an excellent addition to the HX Stomp pedal board. I'm definitely gonna keep this on a board if I build a mini one. Having the snapshots off the HX Stomp is such a uh, an easy thing for me to process because I'm not a MIDI person and I hate trying to figure out crap like that. So this solves everything for me. It's preset, everything's done for me. All I have to do is plug in and play and I could set up my HX Stomp exactly the way I want it. Um, I wanna thank uh, my buddy Robbie for sending this over and having me demo this for you guys. So uh, check out all the links below in the description and the pinned comment to get your own. They are only 90 bucks, which I think is a very reasonable price for something that's handmade by one man in his garage. And he's trying to help us all out by creating a great product for our HX Stump. So please go check it out and support Robbie. And again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.